So I know what you guys are thinking. How can you get the legendary Gith Yankee sword in kind of like in Act 1? I'm sure you've seen tons of videos about doing it by making him drop his weapon and things like that. I found it so much easier just to kill him. That way you get extra experience and stuff like that. Uh, you can skip them if you want to go to the mountain pass by simply jumping over there with enhanced sleep. And you can come back after you get better gear and stuff. The build I'm using is my Frost Mage build that I have a link in the description down below. And I'm just going to start off putting haste to myself. Enter turn base mode. Quicken spell. And I'm tempting. Can I get all of them at once? Yes, I can. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. And you can see all of them are dead except Voss now. And it's my turn. And I'm just going to simply do what I did before. Quicken spell. Except this time I'm going to use Ray of Frost. And target him directly. That one missed. Unfortunate. That one missed again. Wow. Come on, Gale. And my turn. He got knocked prone, and we're just going to do it again. And he's dead. Just hit him for 62. I'm going to come down. And I'm just going to loot him, and now I will get the sword. Thanks for the gear, buddy. Anyway, I just wanted to showcase this real quick because I am going to be using this for a Githyanki build coming up, so I figured why not showcase how to get it now.